hello today i'm here with a new video and today i am here with a collab and i am finally doing a collab with nikki raven she's a friend of mine here i have been following her for i don't know how long i asked nikki to do a collab and she wanted to do a collab with me and i'm so happy for that and for you those of you who come from nikki's channel brain fart I am Lisa, I am from Sweden, I love colorful makeup and I do a lot of makeup videos so if you like that please stick around. So yeah, today I am <laughs> not doing such a colorful makeup. Me and Nikki are doing a face off with one of the Anastasia palettes and we are doing it with the Subculture palette. Nikki just got this one, <laughs> she was like can we do it with Subculture and I was yes. We can do it so for you who doesn't know the palette looks like this and for you who don't know how a face-off works um this idea was created by danielle schmidt i will leave her channel down in the description she, she is another friend of mine here on youtube that is when one or more two or more creators does a makeup look with the same shadows so me and nikki are going to do one makeup look each with the same colors from the subculture and I don't know Nikki why you trusted me to pick the colors because I don't have any luck with picking colors ever so first I took five shades and we're like what the hell are we going to do with these five so I was like okay we can pick a sixth shade I don't know if it was a better or not but I'm going to swatch the colors for you and I actually think I know what I want to do and I'm going to swatch them in the order that we got them so you can see which color was the last one so the colors is Dawn Rowdy Mercury I, I have to check Dawn Rowdy Mercury Roxy Adorn and Edge and I think it isn't that horrible, but it's like, it's kind of boring, especially when we got both Dawn and Roxy. I was like, couldn't we get one of the greens maybe? But yeah, I am going to prime my eyes and then we just get started. And for you that have been here before, I... I'm trying some new things with a setup. Did I say this in the beginning? And for you that are new, I don't know if this is better or not, but for this video I will go like this. So I will start with... And it's now I am not sure at all. I was like, I know what I want to do. I think I will take Roxy, this one, and put it in my crease. And I am, of course, going to talk a little bit more about Nikki. I tried to remember when I found Nikki and through who I found Nikki. I have no idea. It was a long time ago, that's all I know. And I think it was maybe Annette. I found a lot of my friends here on YouTube through Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And I might have found Nikki through her as well I don't know but I have been following Nikki for a pretty long while and I she's so fun I really love Nikki she's so unique and she's just so fun to watch and she does one thing that I really really love to watch and that I wish I would do myself she does this new makeup releases and I think they are so fun to watch to know what other people feel about new releases and she also tests out a lot of indie brands that I never heard of and that is also so fun to like see and especially from Nikki because she's from she's from the Netherlands Nederlanderna in Swedish and Netherlands and she talks sometimes about European in brands and that makes it a lot easier for me 
and what she can get I often can get as well and I think you should really check Nikki out if you hasn't she is so funny she gives off such a good vibe I'm like always happy when I watch Nikki so that is the channel you should really really check out and then I actually think I will go in with Mercury this one to deepen down my crease a little bit and if you have been in the makeup world when this subculture came out you might remember all the drama that was surrounding this palette I think this was my first Anastasia palette I can't remember if it was this one or the prism I think it was this one and I was so so nervous I have heard like all those horror story about how bad it was the shades just fall off the pants it was so much kick up and it was a catastrophe because I have the original one I think they reformulated it but I have the original and I don't think this is a bad palette in any way I really like this I don't know <laughs> what people did that destroyed the shadows yes they are some kick up and I have the modern renaissance palette as well okay I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to continue okay now I want to go in with this adorn 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 and edge on my lid and I will take adorn like out here and then edge in here and I really hope <laughs> this will work but okay, what I was planning on saying, I can understand because I have bought the Modern Renaissance that was their first, like this velvety theme palette. I think this was number two. I wasn't that fond of Anastasia Beverly Hills in like the beginning because I didn't know what the fuss was all about. But I think this was number two. And when I got the modern renaissance modern renaissance i they are kind of different in formula so if people were like used to the modern renaissance i can understand maybe that they were like not okay how should i put this it is not the same formula the modern renaissance is more like creamy these are creamy as well but the modern renaissance is like more creamy shadows they don't have a lot of kick up they the palette looks really clean and it's they are amazing to work with the shadows in that one and in that modern renaissance i don't think you need to have like tried eyeshadow before with this you might need to be a little bit more used to wearing eyeshadows it's just my idea so i guess when this came out and wasn't the same as modern renaissance i can understand that some loses their shit but this was dragged in the dirt and i do not think this palette deserves it so i was so nervous when i ordered this and I have heard that so many people order it and the shadows were cracked when they got it. And I was like, shoot. Because I couldn't buy this in stores when it came out. I had to order it online. And uh, I was so nervous when I ordered it. But everything went fine. I really love it. And I think it is such a fun palette. And I like that it is kind of grungy, but it's from like a bigger brand. That was like a long thing. So now I'm going in with Edge, this one that we draw as an extra shade. And we will see how this will look together with everything. Maybe this isn't that like popping. And I don't know why people are honking that much. It's like, what is the problem, yo? And I take it like the whole way to my inner corner, blend it up together with 
rocks. Okay, maybe I should have taken mercury like the whole way in my crease. Can I fix it now? Maybe I can. So I can. I don't know if the new subculture is and like different people like it more because at some point I felt like people just wanted to get on the hate train with this when it first came out like okay everybody hates it I want to hate it as well it felt a little bit like that actually and I also have the soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the soft glam and modern renaissance they are really similar in texture and how the shadows work and how the shadows look and subculture is not like those but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing and I I don't know if I have ever done a video with this palette on my channel when I done videos in English I know I have done something in Swedish but I don't think I have done anything in English <sighs> okay and it's now I have okay, I think I have made a wrong a bad decision a really bad decision I think I shouldn't have taken Roxy in my crease I should have taken Dawn instead but do you know what it's a little bit late for that because now I only have Dawn and Rowdy left and I like can I take Rowdy on my lower lash together with Dawn? Maybe I will fix it like that. I do not know if I'm super fond of this yet. I think I need some lashes, some brows, some face to this to really like know if this is good or not. So I will fix that off cam, then I come back and we finish the under eyes off and I think I just will smoke Dawn on like my lower lash and then deepen down with rowdy like closest to my lash line or maybe just out here we will see how much dawn will show up on my skin so fixing the base and then come back so my face is on but it's not super hot anymore but with two stupid lighting it is kind of hot so for my under eyes, I will start with Dawn, uh, this one, and take it the whole way. And I don't know how much this will show up. When I swatched it, it shows, shown, <laughs> but I don't know how it will look. I can at least see something so that is good and I like don't know what's highlighter and what is sweat anymore so I will go in with Rowdy the only shade I have left and I will take this maybe this is a stupid brush to take but I will try and I will take it like on the whole lower lash I think Okay, I think I am done like this with the eyeshadow. I think I might like it. Just want to do one thing. I want to go in with Roxy, the one I had in my crease. Tap it up really good and just take it a little bit here. So okay, I will have something in my waterline, put on mascara, shoes a lippy, and then I'll be back with the finished face off. But maybe I want to, now when I look on how I look, <laughs> made no sense. I go in with Roxy in here. Or do I? Yes, I do. I've done it. Okay, I think this that was a good idea. 
So now I put on mascara and try to choose a lippy. So this is the finished look for my waterline I used overboard from Colourpop and on my lips I took Anastasia Beverly Hills Rosewood lipstick. Yeah, of course I have it on my lip. So this is my face off look with the Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I I like this look, but it's nothing I would have done if I was going to do a look with a palette. But I think I figured it out somewhat okay. I think it might have been better to take Dawn in my crease than Roxy, but what's done is done. It's a little bit late to change that now. So yeah, that was all for this face off and thank you so much Nico for doing this collab with me. It will be so fun to see what you are going to do and how you are going to figure this out. Maybe we do the same. I don't know. I don't think so. I have never done like some similar looks with anybody I've done a face off, but once it has to be the first. But yeah, don't forget to check out Nikki. I think you will love her channel. She is amazing. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!